Here they come. They're off and trotting, and on the inside, it'll be Lord Stormont, who will lead toward the turn. Malabar Man and Burroughs on the outside, now about to duck in behind the leader as they leisurely race toward the quarter-mile mark, and Lord Stormont and Doug Brown will dictate the fractions and control the pace of this one. Malabar Man and Burroughs will be content to wait until some point that only Malvern knows as they head now toward the quarter-mile mark. Lord Stormont, the crowning point world champion, three-year-old gelding by just a length. Malabar Man has a big hold of Burroughs, and he's winning action as they race to the quarter-mile mark, and they're past that marker in 32 and three-fifths. And Malabar Man was wanting to, go to roll on so much that he put in a bad step just past the quarter as Burroughs has a big hold of him, and Malabar Man, not accustomed to this kind of pace, is second to Lord Stormont as Lord Stormont leads him down the backstretch through the second quarter off the 32-3 and three front panel. He's approaching the half-mile mark right now. And the gelding, the world champion gelding, Lord Stormont, by just a length, and now the pace has quickened, and Malabar Man eased apparently to the outside but ducked back in as they are flowing quickly now past the half mile mark that mark at 105 and 2 they're in the upper turn Lord Stormont still controls it here comes Malabar Man right now to the outside for Burroughs and now the battle is on on the inside with the lead Lord Stormont on the outside Burroughs has Malabar Man poised to strike he's just a neck off the lead as they trot toward the three quarter and now they're rolling as they advance to the three quarter mile mark racing to the top of the lane and we will see a battle royal in the last quarter mile on the inside three quarters 134 and three they turn for home and still leading as Lord Stormont still challenging as Malabar Man straight now on the stretch here they come down the lane in the World Trotting Derby on the inside Lord Stormont and the game Malabar Man trying but he isn't going to reach Lord Stormont strong he is going to win it the Gelding is going to win the World Trotting Derby Lord Stormont and Doug Brown And look at the last half, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the last half, 55 seconds. And look at the last quarter, 26 and 1. That's the kind of trotters they are. 55 last half, a 26 and 1 last quarter. Two champions. Seconds of last quarter, and 26 and 1, with m one of the most crafty, most adept rangemen in the sport. The Canadian star, not familiar to the Midwest, but certainly better known now. Doug Brown and world champion Lord Stormont. And that was a last quarter, not in 26, but in 25 and 4. Look at the board. It is 34 and 3 home in two minutes two fifths 25 and 4 and that's got to be a record for any race off about to be presented is the Kroger company's garland of flowers the Kroger company creator of the Kentucky Derby Kentucky Oaks and Breeders Cup garlands was proud to design the garland for the 17th annual World Trotting Derby Making presentation of that garland from the world's largest floral retailer is the Kroger Company's Southern Illinois District Manager, Mr. Gary Walters, his wife, Christine, and the customer service representative, Krista Leach. And Governor Jim Edgar and his wife, Brenda, are in Victory Lane, where we will welcome them again in 1998 in a farewell to the DuCoin State Fair as Governor, as Governor Edgar has announced his plans to retire. So with that sobering note, we acknowledge the world champion winner of the 1997 World Trotting Derby, the gelding, the first in the history of the World Trotting Derby, the crowning point gelding owned by Stormont Meadows of Long Salt, Ontario, Norman Jones Trains, Eric Baker.